So, just a quick introduction to the solar powered shed. Here we've got six 305 watt panels on the roof. They actually are the roof also. This was built under lockdown and we couldn't build, we couldn't get any materials, but I did have solar panels. So here we can see the solar panels are the roof. Nothing else there. Here's the DC DC wiring. They all come down this way. A load of MC4 connectors all joined up there. And then down to the bench we've got the six feeds from the from the panels. So at the moment we've also got a 7 series 2 parallel lithium ion battery pack which is just sitting here at just under 27 volts and it's balanced fairly well to within 19 millivolts. Now this is going to be upgraded in a future video uh, so that it will be 7 series and 5 parallel. We've got these nice bus bars, load of them, to connect these all together. This is temporary wiring here. Uh, it's what I had, but now we can do the job properly. So at the moment, we've got one panel connected into the charge controller. Charge controller is the EP Ever Tracer, which is just connected at the moment to a an old 12 volt uh, lead acid battery that's only temporary so we can see at the moment from a single panel we've got 257 watts coming in now I could connect them all in parallel uh, with something like that as you can see I use Anderson power poles for lots of things uh, they're good they're maybe not brilliant that I'm using them both for 24 volts and 12 volts potential for things to get mixed up there, but it's what I'm using. So let me just switch that alarm off. And we can see here on the charge controller that we have, what do we have? A panel voltage, 32 volts. Panel current, 7.7 .7 amps. I uh, don't know what that is without reading the manual, which I've not done yet. The battery voltage is 13.5 volts and the battery current is 18.2 amps. So we've got 18.2 amps going into the battery. If I were to connect all six of these in, in parallel, then we would far exceed the 40 amp rating of the charge controller. We'd have something like uh, over, over 100 amps and probably have smoke coming out of things. So we've got some other things we're going to play around with. We've also got a, a very cheap DC to DC converter, which I'm going to have a play around with to see if that can be used as a very cheap and nasty charge controller, charge regulator. I also want to have a play around with seeing whether you can power two 30 volt appliances off of to 30 volts DC. So we've got a two kilowatt heater, stripped all the electronics away and got wiring straight onto the heater element. And of course the open circuit voltage of the panels is about 40 volts. So, uh, so six of those in, uh, six of those in series is going to be 240 volts DC. So we're gonna have a play around to see whether we can power AC appliances from DC and what could possibly go wrong. So that's about it. Small inverter at the moment, 350 watt, very old 24 volt Victron inverter. That's going to be replaced or upgraded. Um, so, so there we go. That's the um, that's the the way things are at the moment. It's only an introduction. Things are going to evolve and there's going to be experiments, so if this is something that may be of interest, then subscribe to the channel and see what is in the pipeline. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Well done. Might have been